Okay, I want to talk about dogs and their owners. Now, I just saw a woman with a dog in the back of the car, and obviously the dog wants to get out of the boot. And normally, for most normal people, the dog would just jump out the back of the boot. But for this woman, she bought the dog an extra, what seemed like a slide. I'm like, hold on a minute, wait there. The dog, it was a Dalmatian dog, so it wasn't small. And the boot ain't that high, it was a small car, a hatchback. But like, this is what gets on my nerves. I can't believe that people spend money to buy a ramp for a dog to walk down out of the boot, except for jumping. Now, I'm sorry, if I, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't, maybe I don't understand that. Uh, you know, dogs can't, you know, jumping for dogs is dangerous. But last I checked, it wasn't, you know, and this is another thing, it's the same when you see a dog with a, with a vest on or waist jacket, and I'm like, you know the dog is, is it adapts to its surroundings, you know, it has fur for a reason to keep itself warm, you know. Or you have these dogs that are walking, being pushed in a trolley or a pram, I'm like, what? Or in a handbag. I'm like, yo, 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 it's a dog, man. Or, or, or it's a cat. You know what I mean? Cats are quite, kind of cool because they don't care. But, but dogs, let the dogs be a dog. Let the animals stay an animal. They've been given everything they need to be an animal. They don't need us. That was like when uh, the Europeans went to Africa, for example, and it was like, you know, you guys are doing it wrong. Here's a bank. Here's money. Do it like this. No, the Africans were good. We were good with our system there. That's where you got this uh, Sentinel uh, tribe in the Sentinel, Sentinelese Islands. Um, they will, if you try and go there, they'll they'll shoot you down because they know we don't want your influence. We don't need you here. We're good. We're surviving. And that's what they should have done with Africa. And that's what they should do with animals. There's no reason for an animal to wear in clothes. The only thing a dog needs, if you're going to keep it as a pet, is to be fed, to be walked, and maybe a leash and that's it that's it anything else you know a dog's gonna bring so much joy into your life and be cool you know and this is not a, an attack on dogs i love dogs i love in fact i love animals that's why i became vegetarians because of animals but i think all this pampering around dogs and stuff you know dogs or cats or animals in general they get treated better than your average fellow man you know people will spend thousands on or leave leave wills They'll leave their entire fortunes to, to animals that don't need it as opposed to leaving it to human, the human race. I think that's just crazy, really. I think we need to get a hold and, you know, get a reality check and, and understand that animals are important to us because they bring us joy and they're, they're, they're beautiful things. They're, they're beautiful. But I think we're going a bit too far with, with all this stuff, giving them, like, thinking we need to help them, you know, we need to help them. We don't need to help them. I remember a guy who went into the forest and thought he needed to help bears. And the one bear ended up eating him. You know? That's it. You know, the bear was like, look, we don't need you here. We're good. We know how to survive. We've got survival instincts. We know how to get our own food. We don't need your help. Well, not me, but, you know, the dogs or the cats or the animals. So that's what I wanted to say in this segment. <laughs> Let animals be animals. They're good. That they understand how things are. God or whoever gave them all the tools they need to survive. Trust me, you'll be good. They don't need vests. They don't need this. This what? Well, yeah, maybe a mouth guard. Maybe when they're a bit more aggressive. But they don't need all this other stuff, man. They don't need it. Trust me. Going, especially walking. Sorry, walking the dog. Just quickly. Last last thing. A dog can walk. A dog can walk a long way. Believe me. Give him water and it'll walk. It can out pacey human for sure you don't need to push the dog in a pram a buggy it doesn't need it if what you what you need to do is you get on a bike get your fat bum on a bike ride the bike and have the dog run alongside you on the bike then we'll be getting somewhere it doesn't need all this other stuff definitely doesn't need to be in a pram or a handbag okay actually i don't know how it goes with these designer dogs because i guess they're so developed in such a bad way that maybe they don't have the necessary tools i'm talking about dogs that are fit and healthy and anyway, i wrap this up this up now uh thanks for listening this is my five minute segment five minutes with astadio hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next week don't forget to subscribe and uh leave a comment and tell me what you think about owners and their dogs peace <laughs>